Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is currently the best-selling Zelda game at 19 million copies, beating Ocarina of Time sales by approximately 6 million, and almost 10 million more than Twilight Princess. The Guardians appear to be based on pottery from the Jomon period of Japan. The pottery is identifiable by its rough and abstract textures, which inspired the look of Breath of the Wild's most iconic enemy, as well as subsequent runes and items. The Jomon period pottery was chosen due to it being mostly unknown to the rest of the world, and due to the style being similar to themes of mysterious ancient technology that are prevalent throughout the game. The reason the player can not pet dogs is because developers would have had to add the ability to pet everything. The way Breath of the Wild was developed was to be able to use as minimal actions as possible in as many ways as possible, so creating a custom action that couldn't really be used anywhere else seemed pointless. Breath of the Wild was originally going to be a Wii U exclusive, but due to the long production time it was instead opted for both Wii U release and a Switch launch title. The Sheikah Slate was designed around the Wii U gamepad, hence many features of the device benefiting from the Wii U release like the map. This feature had to be reworked in both versions to accommodate for the Switch, since the screen is the console itself and not a separate controller. During production of Breath of the Wild, producer Ig Onuma wanted to return to the game's roots and focus on exploring an open world like the original Zelda for the NES. While they made attempts to make Zelda worlds feel seamless and connected, games like Wind Waker and Skyward Sword required isolated areas separated by large stretches of water or cloud due to the limitations of their time, so production was developed around the idea of a truly connected open world. Link originally used an item similar to the sailcloth from Skyward Sword to glide, but it was instead given to the newly designed paraglider. The bullet time bow mechanic wasn't originally based on stamina, but was instead used to fire a single arrow with dead-eye accuracy. Satori Mountain was named after late Nintendo president Satoru Iwata, who unfortunately never got to see the release of Breath of the Wild. The Lord of the Mountain that occasionally appears on top of this peak is also named Satori. Production of Breath of the Wild began in January of 2013, with an expected release date of 2015. This date was pushed back to early 2016, before eventually becoming a Switch launch title in March of 2017. The reason the release date was pushed back so far was due to the development team's need to make an open world more interesting by adding more side quests and details they couldn't include with their current release date. During pre-production, the team behind Breath of the Wild had access to a message board where they could post their ideas regarding the game. Many of the suggestions included ways to break the typical Zelda conventions. One of the ideas presented was that of an alien invasion on Hyrule that would abduct cattle, while Link ran between laser beams. They even provided a short video using development tools to display their idea. The original prototype game for Breath of the Wild is a top-down 2D game akin to the original Zelda that developers used to test their ideas before bringing it to 3D. This prototype allowed the development team to see the amount of work they required to make the 3D variant. During development, the team tried to come up with ways of making lightning more meaningful to the player. They then began to think about the difference between metal and wooden weapons and created a reason for players to want a weaker variant in order to still defend themselves during a lightning storm. They also considered how players could use lightning to their advantage, like taking out enemies without actually having to fight, and how the feeling of accomplishment was its own reward. According to developers, one of the biggest challenges of converting from 2D to 3D was tree cutting. When the tree gets cut, the biggest challenge is getting the logs to roll realistically. There was originally going to be a feature where Link could stab a bladed weapon into a wall and stand on it to restore their stamina while climbing. About halfway through development, Miyamoto decided that the feature didn't make sense as the player would be climbing on hard surfaces like rock, so the feature was removed. Breath of the Wild was developed from the start to support 8 plus languages. This is because Aonuma was often told by people from Europe that their games couldn't be played by their children without the help of an adult, and he wanted to relinquish that problem. While deciding the size of the world of Breath of the Wild, the developers thought of Kyoto and applied Kyoto's geography to the world map. They thought about how long it would take to go from south to north Kyoto on foot and on horseback. They often experimented with size and scale during development to find the most fun size. Hyrule and Breath of the Wild ended up being 12 times larger than the Hyrule and Twilight Princess. The idea to be able to cook scavenged ingredients was created even before the production of Breath of the Wild. Developers created the physics engine to reward players for finding an underhanded way to win fights, and to not make them feel guilty for it by making the process of discovery fun. This motto made its way into every aspect of production. The music in the game focuses mostly on the piano. The instrument is used to accentuate ambient sound as opposed to creating excitement, to give more meaning to the scope and scenery of certain areas. Before Breath of the Wild, the piano has yet to be featured as the main instrument in any Zelda OST, instead being used as a lead for individual songs like Midna's Lament in Twilight Princess. They decided to use the unique and minimalistic sound to make old Zelda tunes feel fresh and new. The development team was very picky about the footsteps used in-game, as it's an important part of expressing the natural environment. They used Foley, an art of recreating everyday household sounds that are added to film movies, and games to create an authentic atmosphere. The sound team created the sound of a bow goblin picking its nose by putting a finger in a wet cloth and swishing it around. The music in towns change as times progresses from day to night. The tempo of songs slow while transitioning from day to night and quicken when going from night to day. When reaching important milestones in development, the team would group together and play Breath of the Wild. They used this time to thoroughly check what they had created and ultimately shortened development time by taking the time to actually play their product thoroughly and together. Zelda's design went through many changes right until the end, like the
the way she gestures, the way she's lit, and even her eyelashes. In an attempt to make her the most iconic character, they also made her the most difficult to design. When designing Zelda's personality, they made her a combination of her being very serious about her position like in Twilight Princess, and almost flirty like in Skyward Sword to create a nice balance of the two. When designing enemies, the developers first thought of Link and how he would overcome and defeat the foe before creating the design of the foe. For example, when creating the stone talus, they first thought of how Link had to climb the enemy Shadow of the Colossus style before being able to deal damage, and then design the enemy around that concept. When designing the Bow Goblin's horn, the original sound was that of a French horn, but one of the programmers approached sound designer Hajime Wakai and told him they had that type of horn. The horn made such a great sound that they decided to use it instead. There are originally plans to include tiny people into Breath of the Wild and give Link the ability to shrink, akin to the Minish and Minish cap. Guardian's design started because Aonuma was talking to a staff member who said the Octoroks felt huge in the first Zelda, and their quick, complicated movements made them difficult to fight, so the Guardian was designed off of this idea. IG Onuma's favorite character is the Old Man, aka the King, as he's the first character the player meets and interacts with after leaving the Shrine of Resurrection. Director Hidemaru Fujibayashi likes Urbosa the most, because her name was the first to be finalized and has a very nice ring to it, and also due to the character's strength and loyalty. Rivali's theme was recomposed because the original theme made him seem too unpleasant, and the developers just wanted people to like him. Wolf Link can join the player on their adventure through the Twilight Princess Wolf Link amiibo. Developers tried to give Wolf Link dog AI, but he's a wolf, so they decided to make him fight more like the wild pack seen throughout Hyrule. During development, it was suggested that each shrine was given a subtitle to make them all distinguishable from each other. If the player uses incompatible ingredients during cooking, the product will become simply dubious food. The team had a hard time creating something disgusting for the visual of the dubious food, so it was pixelated instead. In response to fans really, really liking Prince Sidon, producer Hidemaru Fujibayashi stated that it made sense. During development, they found his dialogue to be too enthusiastic and annoying and dialed it back until the team eventually began to love the character themselves. Also, he originally was going to be a light gray Zora, but due to him being Mifa's brother, his color scheme was changed. At the end of the Champion's Ballad DLC, Link receives his very own horse-shaped motorcycle. The motorcycle, or Master Cycle, Link drives around has actually appeared in Mario Kart 8 Zelda DLC before showing up in the Champion's Ballad. One of the original designs for the Master Cycle included a wolf head, but because Link was always riding horses in the game, the development team felt it would fit the character's motif better if it was structured like a horse. In an interview with Juke's video, Onuma stated that though Breath of the Wild does exist somewhere on the Zelda timeline, they didn't want to decide where not to limit themselves during production, and to give them more room to further develop the game's story. The addition of new armor reflecting characters in previous Zelda titles came from Fujibayashi asking team members who had worked on Zelda before what characters they would like to see return in this fashion. Though every character is voiced by someone new in different localizations, in every language version of the game, Link is voiced by Kengo Takanashi. Breath of the Wild is the first Zelda game since the Zelda CDI to feature full voice acted dialogue. Irish novelist John Boyne mistakenly included ingredients from Breath of the Wild in his 2020 historical fictional novel, A Traveler at the Gates of Wisdom. It's assumed that while researching how to make clothes dye, the author stumbled upon the ingredients listed on the Zelda wiki and included them in his novel. Despite featuring renditions of previously composed Zelda songs, Breath of the Wild is the first game in the mainline Zelda series to not feature composer Koji Kondo's work.